Hi everyone, it's Louis here with another quick tutorial. Now today's tutorial is about WebRSS and the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because a lot of the RSS readers out there, they don't let you configure the look of your RSS feed uh, very much, they, unless you want to pay for it and then you might get a few more options. But I find that this particular RSS reader is for free and it does give you a lot more options than most of the others so I thought I'd let you guys know about it. Now I'm already logged in here. Uh, if you don't have an account it's very simple, it's free to sign up and it takes no more than two seconds to, to get signed up. So we'll go to the home section. Uh, before you do that make sure you go to webrss.com up the top and you've got a whole bunch of different options here. You can uh, I, I pretty much create uh, go to create widgets or manage widgets in this case and we have one here already set up that I did before um, but we'll actually we'll add a new one just so you can see what happens so add new feed and we'll do a blogger account feed so this one here dog herbal remedies create new feed and it's already found it, there it is there, and you can start uh, manipulating the look of the feed. Let's say for example we want to display the feed title, you can do that. Display feed source, you can do that as well. Um, unlike most other RSS readers, this gives you the option of displaying the width that you want. I mean if your page is say for example 960 across in pixels, you might want to do say 880 and then once you click here, it, as you can see, it's the previews displayed it in its true form. Just drag across here a little. And then you've also got uh, the maximum of articles or displays that you want to have uh, shown. So we might only want five displays shown. And then you've got, uh, you can have it as partial description and then you just add the amount of characters that you want or you can have it as full up to yourself um, then you can also have include uh, add to site button on there and it gives you different options of which icons to use then when you get to this section here it gives you different themes for example I usually use the title bar uh, theme but it gives you a, a shadow theme and then it gives you the uh, the scrolling item theme. Now this one usually won't display on the preview here, but when you have it on your on your website, it, this section will scroll from one article to another. And then once you roll your mouse over it, it stops, and you're able to to read it and, and click on it and do whatever you need to do. Um, but we'll go with the title theme on this one. And you can change the background color. For example, we might. Uh, give this a slight yellowy tinge and then you can also change the title bar uh, title background color so we'll change that to there we go um, and we'll change the text color then to a white and as you can see dog herbal remedies displays so it gives you a whole bunch of different options to, to customize it you can even increase the font size and then it's as simple as save and grab code and it gives you a few options here you can do it in PHP, ASP, JavaScript or iFrames I tend to use the JavaScript one because it um, seems to be the most accurate uh, the iFrames one doesn't seem to display it that accurately but the JavaScript is very accurate it's as simple as selecting that copy that a uh, little bit of code and then uh, just paste that into your HTML editor, whichever one you might be using, uh, into the body section, basically where you want to place it on your site. And that's it. It'll appear. I've got one that I did before for another site. This is exactly how it looks once it's uh, completed. Nice and elegant. And it conforms with uh, the aesthetics of your actual site. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and if you guys like my videos please subscribe and we'll uh, see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye for now.